Look at us. Look at us. Bless you for being here. Thanks for coming down to see us. It's been such a while since we were all in this studio uh, together. Yeah. Yes. And since the last time you were here, Nick, we've got to congratulate you. You've become a father. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is huge news. How is it? How are you handling everything? Is it fun? Are you doing well? Everyone okay? It's been, everyone's great. It's been it's been a, a delight. It there, but there are definitely things that you are not quite prepared for. Right. Uh, like the first time, you know, when your kid gets a boogers and they get stuck in the nose and you, their nostrils are too small to pick them out. Yep. So you there's a a tube that you stick into the child's nose. And then a tube that you then connect to your mouth mm. to suck the booger out, mm. and it's a real leap of faith uh, because you're not sure if there's going to be a barrier that will stop you from sucking your child's booger right into the back of your throat. Yeah. Um, and I like I thought poop was going to be the big thing, and I'm <laughs> like, going, poop's no big deal. I'll, yeah. I'll scoop them right out of the tub. Uh, I'll, if I'm, you know, if I'm hungry, I'll snack on it. Whatever, you know, what I got to do. Um, it, so, also, it also feels weird going, I'm living in the 21st century, but for boogers, it's still a tube, and I'm yeah. still like... Yes, so we yes, have, you're right. No, they've, they've invented nothing no. on this area? They it's, just gave up? Yeah, it's the equivalent of a bowl of rice for your phone. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it is. Yes. It is. It's That's all like, we've got. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We went to, like, 1850 with booger technology and just... <laughs> done, <laughs> done. Which, yeah, that's as close as it is. I mean, obviously, this, did you do any trick-or-treating? With, yep. uh, with the, the, the we, young man? We also? went out with him. Uh, he was indifferent to the whole operation. <laughs> uh, but mm -hmm. we had a great time, and I, I brought a picture from our trick-or-treating, actually, that I took okay. yesterday. Oh, well, this is, yes. So this, you saw this sign yes. when you were out trick-or-treating. Look at this. It says, Happy Halloween. Sorry, no treats this year. Which... <laughs> Which means someone went to the effort to yeah. like, paint an elaborate sign to let them know that their kids can f off. Yeah. <laughs> Which is so much more effort it than just. Is. Yeah. It's so much more effort than just a bowl of butterfingers. Yeah. Like, go to CVS and buy a bag. It, it's the easiest thing in the world. No, this person's like, I gotta get some stencils, yeah, exactly. multiple colors. Yeah. But also, why this year? Yeah. Right. I, I got a hunch this signs up again next year. <laughs> yeah. That's my hunch. I would say so. That's yeah. up all year round, it turns out. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I mean, Patton, you're from Virginia. What, what was Halloween like there when you were growing up? Halloween was really fun, but I it was trick-or-treating during the 80s when there was that mm. big satanic panic going on. In sure. between Halloween and Dungeons and & Dragons, they all thought we were being lured by Satan, so there was a... Preacher, and this was a real thing. His name was Bob Larson, and he had a thing. Shout out called, to Bob. Yep, Bob. <laughs> he uh, he had a thing called the Halloween's the Halloween Attack Pack, and what it was was a bag full of little tiny Bibles. And when the kids no. came trick or treating, you would put a Bible in their bag, which to me, when we got those, it was like this house is being egged. Like that, that was like <laughs> yeah. a. It was a house egging kit. Like, this, yeah. a Bible, that's worse than raisins. Like, just why are you putting a tiny Bible in our bed? But I would come home and they would, you'd dump out the candy and, oh, there's a Bible. All right, great. <laughs> but also, I don't know that a Bible is best read in a tiny text. No. Like, that's a lot to take in if you think Actually, about it. If you're yeah. like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe maybe they assumed you had like a, a mouse that had lost its way. Exactly, yeah. Maybe a mouse that was listening to a little bit too much uh, hair metal yeah. yes. and uh, was dressing all in goth. Mm. And I'm like, hey, and here you, you go, buddy. Yeah. And you ignored that mouse. And we, you'd ignore yeah. that mouse. Because like, you just wanted to be alone, man. <laughs> Get it. Leave me alone. What, what about when you grew up, Neil? What was Halloween like? Did people used to hand out strange things? There was candy. Of course, there was, like, the razor blades and the candy bars, but they eventually <laughs> caught me doing that. And, um... But weirdly, my science teacher in, like, sixth grade was like, watch out. I know there are men who heat up pennies in pans and then give them to children, and you... And he puts it in your hand, and it burns your hand. So, I... 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 <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hang Sorry, on. Hang on. This... The, the guy, but if he puts it in your hand, you know the whole the yeah, myth yeah. of putting, like, a razor blade in a candy is you don't know who's the person that did it. No, but if he's standing there right there, yeah. that doesn't Sir, make any yeah, sense. He's either wearing <laughs> oven mitts or yeah, something. I'll be with you, be with you on one minute. Give me one minute. I'm just yeah. going to... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just stoking just the fire. Frying pennies. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. 
Now, Pat, you're in the middle of, uh, of your Who's Ready to Laugh tour. Yes. How are you feeling? How is it being back on stage um, at the moment? Uh, look, I'm not... It, it feels fantastic being in front of people. And, and to paraphrase my friend Bobcat Goldthwait, it's also good to be out on the road because you're reminded that the Internet and Twitter aren't the world. Yes. Mm. You know what I mean? Like Completely. You, you, if, if you just... And, look, we spent our... The, the lockdown, you know, engaging with the world through Twitter and the Internet, and you think that... Out there, it's all marauders and people yanking masks off people and going crazy. And you get out there, and everyone's just trying to live. Yes. You know, there's the same amount of craziness at, 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 that there's always been, but there's just way more cameras. Like, yeah. I feel like if, it, if there had been the amount of cameras that we have now back in the 70s, we would have gone, well, the world's coming to an end. Yeah. Uh, so just all the craziness is being filmed 24-7. Mm -hmm. But it's actually okay. It's okay. It makes me happy. Yeah, yeah and I'm sure you're making lots of people happy out there, yeah. too. And... Nick, you're also on a stand-up tour. You're on the middle-aged boy tour, yes. and this is exciting. <laughs> yes. You're playing Carnegie Hall, yes. November 12th. Yes. Which, wow. as a New Yorker, yeah. that's a huge. Must, that's a huge night. It is. Uh, yeah, I mean, playing Carnegie Hall. You know, ever since I was a tiny uh, cellist as a small boy, <laughs> I, <laughs> I knew one day yeah. I would make it to yeah. Carnegie Hall. Mm. And you know, two years ago when I pivoted from. Uh, classical cello to stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that was your show with John Mulaney, Oh Cello. Yeah. Oh Cello, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, and the great thing is, I'm from New York, so my friends and family will be there. Uh, oh, the only man. downside is that uh, my friends and family will be. Yeah. There. <laughs> I don't like perform. Do you like performing in front of? I get so no. I get very very nervous. I just I was just in. Uh, Washington DC I did the Kennedy Center Woo. and but luckily only my dad came out my mom and I'm not saying this in a, in a yay but she got sick and I was like oh that's so terrible yes thank God <laughs> like I didn't want her to because you get nervous my high school friends who I love are like I think are still like you're you're the one who made it yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know they're like Stevenson's funny <laughs> yeah.